RX Too Faced um, primer and then we're also using the Benefit the Professional. I like to use the Professional right around my nose area and on the tops of my cheeks because that's where I have the most pores at that I notice. And then I use the Hangover RX around the rest of my face to help prime. Alright, now I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Poreless um, and Matte Foundation. The shade that I'm using is number 112. This is my first time using it and so far I really like it. Um, it stayed really matte throughout the day and it also really helped to cover my pores. So I don't know if it was a combination of using a pore primer and also a pore foundation or what, but I am digging this foundation so far. damp beauty blender and I'm just really just pressing the product into the skin to help it um, to blend it out and then also make it more of a seamless effect. I do think that this foundation is more of a medium coverage foundation so if you are like me and want a little bit more coverage in certain areas just go back in and add a little bit more of the product after you've blended it out to help build your coverage. Next we're going to go in with brow products. Um, everything will be listed down below for you as well. I like to start with the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil in soft brown just to outline my brows. Then I like to go in with the brow powder, her duo, and this is nice because it has two different shades. One is darker and also one is lighter. So you can help to really fill in the outer portion of your brow with the darker powder to then go back in with the lighter powder to fill in the front part. So that's what I'm doing right here, it's just going in and filling in my brows with the brow product. Again, if you want a more in-depth video, I do have a video on my brow, so I will link that down below for you guys. So now I'm going in with just a little bit of uh, concealer just to kind of prime my eyes and then also to clean up the brow on the underneath part as well. So I am just going in from the Tartlet palette using the Luxie 205 Tapered Blending Brush and I'm just taking the Force of Nature and Wanderer colors and I kind of mix them together because Force of Nature is more of a orangey brown and Wander is more of a taupey brown. So I just mix them together to give us a transition shade in our crease. This is optional, you could choose to use one or the other or choose to use a different color like Beaches and Cream um, from Makeup Geek, uh, but anything just to kind of give yourself a transition shade. So now I'm going in with the Sigma Blending E25 brush and I'm packing on product from the Makeup Forever number M548 shade. And this is a little bit more of a darker brown and I'm just, again, just deepening that transition in that crease and just really blending it. And then going in with no additional product on the Tapered Blending Sigma E40 brush, I'm just blending it out so there's no harsh lines in the crease. And I just continue to go back and forth with these shades to build the intensity in the crease, but then also to make sure that there's no harsh lines by blending it out with no additional product. I'm just going in with a Sony Keshek brush and a shimmer shade from the Jaclyn Hills palette from Morphe brushes and just um, highlighting my brow bone. And then again going back in with no additional product to blend out the crease. So now the star of the show is going to be this NYX liner that I picked up in Electric Blue. And I'm just going to give myself a nice little winged liner. With
with this product it does dry pretty quickly so try to work as quickly as possible with it I am not really good when it comes to doing wing liner sometimes so I was moving extra slow at same light today so the product did dry pretty quick that I noticed but other than that I'm pretty happy with how the liquid liner was Now I have both eyes done, so I'm just going back in with that tapered blending brush or the blending brush, the E25 from Sigma and just deepening up the crease and just making sure that I have no um, differences. So now I decided I wanted to add a little bit of a lighter shade and I had this Kat Von D inked liner. So this is more of like a baby blue. So I did go above the liner that I already had there and just added a little bit of it. I did make a mistake on the outer corner and it will show in just a second. Um, so I just went back over it with the NYX liner that we used originally. And again, I'm just going back in and just deepening up the color and my crease. Now going in with the Rimmel Lash Accelerator and the Benefit Thayer Mascara, I'm just going in and priming my lashes for falsies. Um, I like to just kind of apply generous coats of mascara to it just to help prime them, but you can use any mascara you really like. These are just the two that I picked for the day. So now on to highlighting and contouring. I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15 Fair just to add some highlight and then also conceal at the same time. So definitely make sure that you do, it's like an upside down triangle underneath the eyes, on the bridge of the nose, the forehead, the chin, and the cupid's bow. And then once I'm done, I'm just going to blend it out with a damp beauty blender. Don't mind the funny faces that you make when you are totally doing your concealer. I swear, I try so hard not to make those faces, and it never fails. I still do. So now I'm going to go in with the LA Girls Pro Concealer in Beautiful Bronze and I'm actually going to cream contour with this. This product, I don't know if it's just my, because it was my first time using it, but I felt like it dried really quick. So just be sure that you, um, you know, future I would definitely do one side at a time and do it that way because I feel like it would blend out a little bit easier. But if you guys have had that problem happen, leave comments down below and let me know what you did to kind of help it blend out a little bit better. Um, but if you haven't, then also leave me comments down below and maybe I just got some weird batch. Who knows? And I'm just going in with a damp beauty blender to blend out the contour. Um, this step is optional. You could use a brush instead, uh, but I just preferred going in with a beauty blender. I just thought it would be a little bit easier. And when blending at your cheekbones, I definitely make sure to blend back and up to help give you the appearance that you have a lifted cheek or that bone, that cheekbone is lifted. Uh, 
Alrighty, so now that we are contoured, I'm just going to go in with the Milani Powdered Blush. This is in Romantic Rose. And I'm just going to blend it all out and then use my stippling brush. So the lashes I'm using are the Ardell um, Demi's. I believe they're the number 102. I love these lashes. These are the first time I've ever used these lashes. But literally, I like them because they are so natural. But they still give you the illusion that you are giving that wing effect. So really to help to elongate the eye. So if you're looking for some good lashes, highly recommend these. Um, and I'm using these with the Sephora tweezers and then also the Duo Lash Glue. I did use the brush on application one just because that's what I had handy, but any of the Duo Lash Glues will work. And then as you can see, I did go in also with just my regular pair of tweezers just because I couldn't get that corner down on the inner corner, so just to help me out. Alrighty, now that lashes are on, we're just going to add a little bit of shadow to the under part of the eye. I did use a more of a topier brown or a red brown, I'm sorry, underneath the under eye just to really define the lash line. Um, I'm one of those ones that love to have something on the bottom lash line if I especially have such a dramatic eye on the top. Uh, so this is optional. If you don't want to, you can definitely just throw on a good coat of mascara and go and call it a day. But for those of you that definitely want to add that little extra oomph, this is an option for you as well. And then I'm just taking the Sephora blending brush, a uh, crease brush, and just blending it out underneath so that it smokes it out a little bit more, but it also helps it so that it's not so defined. And again, this has no additional products on the brushes when I am blending it out underneath the eye as well. And then I'm going to go in and apply mascara to the bottom lashes. I'm going in with the Rimmel Lash Accelerator um, and just adding a coat of mascara to the bottom lashes now that we've defined the bottom lash line. I also go on to the top lashes just to help blend my natural lashes to the falsies that we put on. now onto lips. So I got this lip pencil, it's a nude, and it's by Lord & Berry in my Ipsy Glam Bag and I'm in love with it. And then I'm going in with the um, MAC Cream In Your Coffee lipstick over top of it. So I do on my top lip line, I do like to define my lips just a little bit more so I do overdraw them just a tad bit, it's not a lot, uh, but I just like to have the appearance that I have a fuller upper lip because my bottom lip is a little bit more um, defined and fuller than my upper lip. So again, now that I've done that, I am going in with that MAC lipstick, which is the cream in your coffee. And then just going over everything that we had already applied with the lip liner. Once we are done with that, I am going to just set everything in place with the MAC Fix Plus. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love this combination. It was so much fun doing a bold eyeliner like this since I normally don't do it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys have any suggestions or comments, please list them down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time.